In this episode of the Bella Kitchens, I'm making that pork, uh, that rib kebab again. You don't have to have pork ribs, like I said in the other one. You can have beef ribs or whatever other ribs you've got. But I'm going to do it on Lebanese bread this time and in a particular way. First things first, start baking the ribs. By the time the mise en place is ready, ribs and chips will be cooked. Bottom wrap ribs so it doesn't drip on the chips and ruin it. Ribs in. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put them both in, but save that for later as a snack. I may not necessarily use all of it, I probably won't. Okay, it's perfect. We'll have sauce. Chickens. These are fries. On at two ten. Not Fahrenheit. Celsius. Okay, chips there. See, plenty of time to prep this now. This will be sandwich press once it's all in there and I'll show you how to sandwich press without a sandwich press very 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 easy You only want half strips, and we're not marinating them because it will ruin the ribby, crunchy, chippy texture. Okay, there we go. That's all the tomato. Same thing, but you, you don't have to pull, you just have to roll 
and get as thin slices as you can because you're not cooking the onion. That's plenty. Take your time with this and get them individually portioned because there's plenty of time for that to cook. A scrap plate. Plenty of lettuce. Ship and aid. You don't have to fully roll it. I want spice in there. We're going to do it Turkish style. Whole chilies instead of cutting them. Tails off. That's a large one and two small ones. And you just throw them in there. Now that's going to take another five to ten minutes to cook. Those ribs and chips. I'll put it on pause. Chips and ribs look ready. We want the ribs at the bottom. You don't, it will absorb a little, but by sandwich pressing it, you're sort of reversing that. For fuck's sake. So the chips are falling. <laughs> but the ribs are good. Perfect ribs, oh my god. You don't want to pack it, otherwise you'll ruin it. These ribs are almost melting off, it's perfect. Perfectly cooked, the chips and ribs together, wow. Yep, that's more ribs.
Wow. <clears throat> That's enough. I want to use these chips. So that's perfect. Now, onion. And then tomato, chili on the side, barbecue sauce on the tomato, I'm using wholemeal bread. And then the most important part, fold over, literally wrap the ingredients, tuck it in, it's okay as long as your hands are washed, and roll, kebab. Now, all I'm gonna do is lay this side first on the pan. It's not oiled, it's on just under high heat. Ooh, that popped in the air. So I'm gonna oil the pan. So it gets crunch and loop and put the plate on top. Balance the plate so it doesn't go anywhere. Don't let the plate touch the pan or it will crack, the pan crack. And that's what you do if you don't have Toaster. And I'll eat all the scraps later. Chippies, ribs, and all. Don't leave it too long or it will burn. So, right now, it should be sealed. Take the plate off. A little bit may come out. No, it's not all the seal. So I'll put the plate back on that sort of sealed side. One chip came out, one tomato came out. That's okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Now look at that. Look at that. Sealed and all. Masterpiece. Proper kebab. Crunchy and all. Let's test. My official <laughs> testing bay. Is it better than the Turkish one? We'll soon find out. Hard to say. I think the Turkish one was a bit better, but it's still delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. I 
fucking nice. Sorry if I offend your etiquette. My grandfather taught me to eat fast. Once he teaches me something, can't be undone. It's interesting because the ingredients are better in this, but when I used the Turkish bread, it was delicious. But this is still nice. Mm. I think a traditional Lebanese wrap is best when you use Lebanese bread. The shawarma, even the chicken shish. Although you'd use the Turkish style bread. Oh, yum. Mm. Mm. Magnificent food. Superbly nice. The amazing thing is, what I just cooked is under 25 grams of fat. Probably had about between 40 and 50 grams of protein and is perfectly healthy.